Hello and welcome back to another video from Real Therapy Fishing. Today we've got some boy maintenance and I'll be bringing you guys along with me. So our Harridge Sea Angling Association boy is just out of Harridge and we've been noticing recently that the boy has started to sink slowly underneath the water. So what I've got to do today is, is add another probably about six or seven foot section onto that so the boy is actually floating above the water because obviously that's going to drag it down even further. So all we need to do is, is add another uh, section onto the buoy to raise it up a bit and the job should be good. Okay, so ideally I'd like to do this to the rope which is called splicing. Um, unfortunately I do not know how to do that at this present time. There is something I'd like to learn. Um, so for this one, we can put that to the side because obviously uh, this is a lot, lot thinner rope and for the buoy you want something nice and thick and heavy. Uh, this rope isn't the best stuff to use, but as it's going out, out to sea, it doesn't really matter to be honest. Um, we're just going to be using this stuff, it will last, last a lifetime. And if anybody ever did decide to nick it or pick it up, hey ho, we've only lost a little bit of rope. So that's the plan. So as you can see, this rope has got a, uh, a bit of fraying. So the way we're going to stop that, because we're going to need to cut it, is to use a piece of electrical tape. So we want to get this undone. What I'm going to do is wrap it up just so we can cut through it and it won't fray then. Snap it off and there we have it. And now I'm going to get a fairly sharp knife and just cut through the cut through the rope. Just so it's nice and clean. So, so just so it doesn't fray when we try to, to uh, tie the knot so that's perfect so what we want to do is basically try and recreate this because we want a loop in this rope so all I'm going to do is is tie a knot uh, it's not going to look as neat as this but again it's only going out to sea so who really cares so I'm going to tie a knot in this so you want to leave plenty of tag end, it doesn't really matter, I've got plenty of this rope because uh, it ain't going to do up that easy. So keep your knot nice and tight and then all we're going to do is do literally a simple overhand knot just like so. And I'll show you how to get this super tight later on. But that there is basically what we're looking for. As I say it's not the neatest thing but it's the strongest thing and it's going to work so that's what we're using okay so what I'm going to do is just repeat the exact same process again leaving ourselves enough uh, line and then just doing a simple overhand knot keeping it all the exact same try and leave these loops nice and big Tighten this up by hand, do the worst of it, and then I'll show you now how to pull them real tight. Right, so this bit is nice and tight now. Uh, what I've done was is I put this end to my Jeep and the other end to Dad's truck, and what we've done is we just pulled it uh, truck to truck basically. Dad's was in handbrake, I just rolled off mine, give it a bit so that's dead tight, that ain't gonna go nowhere. Um, so that's that bit complete. Now to make hitching up easier, um, what we're going to do is, is, so you've got your main buoy and we're going to add a secondary piece on, so a spur coming off of it um, and that's just going to have like a milk carton basically um, holding on to that. Uh, so we can clip onto this rather than going back to the main buoy. Um, you'll basically see in our videos as the uh, time goes on that this will actually um, make a lot more sense to you guys. Um, so what we're going to do is, is measure about, about, foot, about five or six foot and what we're going to do again is just tape that section off and cut it off and that will basically be that section. We can tie this straight onto the milk carton as it is. Um, And that will be that. Right, so I've got the other piece of rope here. Um, and basically what the idea is, we're going to be tying onto this section here. Um, so I don't want the buoy 
connected straight onto this because obviously this is what we're going to be tying your boat or your kayak onto and obviously don't forget guys uh, any of you can use this so if you've got kayaks or you've got boats um, the association's absolutely free it's free to join um, and it's obviously free to hook up on the on the boy and you can you can see the results um, we've had plenty of bass off of there So, it speaks for itself to be honest. So all I've done is, got a short length of paracord because I want to stand it off a bit. And what we're going to do is, butt that section up so it's, so it's neat. Go through our can. And then just pull it through. So, we've done that with the can. And then, what I'm going to do is stand this off about a foot from where our um, from where our, our connection is going to be. Um, and I'm just going to do a simple clove hitch just to tie that section on. So that's going to go through there, and then we definitely know then that they ain't going to come off once this is done up nice and tight. Real good yank down. Pull it all, just make sure it's nice and tight. So there we go, nice neat knot. And what I'll do is I'll cut this off and burn this back. So uh, we definitely know it ain't gonna slip. And that's how it will sit in the water. So your boy will be up here, um, locating where your tie off point is. Then you can go and find the boy, find the yellow boy and connect straight onto this with your kayak or your boat or your dinghy. So there we go, that's all cut and burnt back. Um, so we've got our boy, our floaty and our boy on a hook up. So now we're ready to drive down to the beach and go and attach it all. Alright guys, so this is the mooring that we've put in. We've got a big concrete solid block here. Uh, I probably wouldn't recommend any over uh, about 20 foot for a boat. I mean, and uh, we definitely don't want nobody permanently on this because obviously we're, we're using it ourselves as well, uh, as well as everybody else. So, decent bit of chain coming down to some thick old rope. And as you can see, this is why we're changing it. Um, we've got we had a bit of a snag up the other day um, and this is our old line that we use to tie our small boat on so um, this is why we're adding the secondary secondary bit of line obviously I'll put that down there but we'll pick that up later so as you can see this is the boy HSAA written on it right so this is how it's connected we just got a simple D shackle so just to extend the piece of rope we're going to be undoing this As you can tell, so it's only been out there about a couple of months, isn't it? Yeah, it's not been out there long, has it's it? It's already, already all weeded up. There we go. And should, there you go. Just pull out, stick that back in there so we don't lose it. 
I know what we're going to do then, Dylan, is just extend that bit of rope, yeah, put a new bit exactly, on. Exactly, extend it out, so... Well, what was happening was it was actually underwater at high tide, wasn't it? Exactly, yeah. So we're just going to extend it up so it'll be a lot easier and we can see it a lot easier to clip onto. Right, so we're just going to connect these two pieces together with a D-shackle. And that will definitely hold them two pieces nice and tight. I mean, the good thing is because we can access this at low tide all the time, can't we? If there's ever a problem, we can always just come down and yeah. change the rope or chain or whatever. Can't yeah, we? It's, so it's, it's not like it's sunk under water no, and that's it. No, a lot of moorings are just they're put down and that's it. So a lot of these boats that are out here now, you can see they've obviously got sunken moorings. So they'll never get to their chain and ropes, but we're quite fortunate with that one, the way we've done it. The only thing is, if you did have a boat on here, it would uh, just sit on this on this ground, wouldn't it? So yeah, at low water. There we go, down up nice and tight. There we go. So that's connected like that, and then that there is giving us a good six foot extra. Plus, that's yeah, it's probably about 10 foot, isn't it? Yeah, so that's give us plenty then. Yeah. So that end there, we just connect back onto that boy again. So there you go, that's just going back onto there now. So fairly simple and easy to do. Tight. Yeah, that's nice and tight. So there we go. That's our extension piece. And as you can see, that's quite a bit extra. It's so, probably about 15 foot actually, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but that'll yeah. get us further back to the bank a little bit better yeah. as well. So. I mean, the idea is once the high tide comes in, obviously the tide will run in. And as you can see, there's, a, there's a, the edge of the sandbar there and it comes all the way down the way down up to the beach and by the time the boat's on we're usually about here aren't we yeah and then by the time you've just cast out your rods or just flicked them out there you're fishing on that sandbank so it's brilliant for the bass so what you're doing now and dylan just gonna add another bit in just gonna add another section in um i'll probably connect it to this actually looking at it i think we tried to undo that before didn't we oh, no. it fairly loose as well. How oh, was it? Good job we checked that. Yeah. So I'll add it to this section here because that'll be nice and strong. I'll loop that piece in. And I'll make sure this is done up nice and tight. There we go. So we've got our main boy and then in the tide will be sitting out like this and what we'll do is we'll pick up this jug like so and then we'll tie onto this piece so we just lift up the jug that'll lift up the rope and we'll be able to attach our uh, boat onto this loop and we should be dead over the top of that sandbank which will be even better which means we won't have to cast so far that's true yeah and also if that ever does sort of get a bit weighted down again we've you know we can always sort of see that because you've got an extra watt six foot or so in there yeah exactly yeah, five yeah. foot or so of, yeah, of exactly. rope so job done perfect so as mentioned when the boat's sort of sitting about here and we're just going to cast you can see this little ridge on the sandbank here and it totally changes with all this sort of weed it's a nice rough shingle as you can see it's quite a nice ledge Perfect, isn't it? Yeah, and it runs all the way up to the end there, and you can see, I don't know if you can see right at the far out there, there's a there's a buoy there, it's just marked the edge of the sandbank. And that's why sometimes yachts come steaming through, they'll come up here and then it'll get stuck on here. around there to, to avoid it but 